Hey there, everyone. This is Aokao. So we got 38 uh, Jiggy right now, right? Before I do anything, I wish to go and look at the altar of um, Wasteland. Is yeah, that's where the dinosaurs are. That's why there's a dinosaur face. I want to look at the altar of this place to see how many Jiggies I'm gonna need to open it. And we are going to be planning the next few days accordingly. Hey there, one. This is Alcal playing Banjo Tooie, by the way. I just kind of. Oh, here we get the wacky version. I need seven more. Okay. Okay. So, in which world there are six left to get, right? Let's just. Uh... Which world? There are six left to get. Now, I could get a Jiggy from a, um, from a Jinjo family, but I don't think I should rely on that. So, where would I get the seven? And it's seven that I need, right? Why do I have, like, no memory here? Yeah, I need seven. So, uh, yeah, good. Glad we got that. I don't. I, I'll, it's the plan. So six in 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 the circus, and uh, there is one I can get that was gonna be pretty quick here in Pterodactyl Land. Uh, so we're just gonna do that real quick, and then uh, we can start uh, today's shenanigans. Sounds like a plan to me, right? Maybe. And uh, basically, we now have the means to get the last option here in the stomping plane. Mind you, it could be that the prize is not a Jiggy. Like, I actually don't really remember all that well. Well, I, I remember what to do, but I don't remember what the prize is. Let's find out. So here we got Bear. Bear is pretty slow, you know? Banjo, he's a, you know, he's a pretty strong guy. And, but uh, he's not as strong as a dinosaur, so how do you deal with that? Well, what if we took a nap? Because that's the thing with the stomps. All it does is it reduces you to one health. And then, if you're at one health, it does one damage. So, what if you took a nap in every one of these steps? every time. It's a very silly, like, puzzle. I don't know. Is it really a puzzle? I, I guess. Like, you, you gotta, you gotta use your resources. It's a resource using... By resource, I mean the moves you got, not the things you find. Although, you can still collect these. You can go like, whoa, check it out. And then you got 200. I think I, I heard something laugh. Like, I heard like a <laughs> little sound. I don't know what that was. Napping! We can see my bag kind of expand and deflate again and again. Wahoo! Oh, okay, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. So one of these was a Jiggy, and one of these was a Jinjo. And one of these is a door to a big empty spot. Oh no, there's teal on the other side. Alright, whoa, then the camera does like a crazy thing. Do you like the taste of a crazy thing? What? What? Uh, fine. I guess you're meant to do Banjo and Kazooie's thing sort of together. That's silly. Ah, uh, that's fine. Doing this as Kazooie is just kind of free. Yaha, uh -huh. uh -huh, indeed, Banjo. I agree. That is what I say every time a large bird enters my backpack. You can't stop me. Anyway, so here we go. We found a jig. <laughs> except, except this is not a Pterodactyland uh, jiggy. I don't think. Oh, because I haven't- is it because you don't open it, then you open it up? This is, strictly speaking, a Hellfire Peak Jiggy. Um, but I think that it won't show you the screen until you've unlocked it or something. Because, like, this is the same scene, more or less, of where we saw- well, where we could see out of, like, the big bay window. 
uh, when we get uh, to the uh, ice um, vault yesterday. Same basic area. But yeah, I think when we open Temple World, by the way, it's Temple World. It's what I've been calling Temple World because the entrance is a temple. Uh, once we're gonna go there, we're gonna look and we're gonna have one Jiggy already done. Sort of like how, you know, like when we enter Teragdek the land, we had one moves already done, even though we didn't have yet the... Um, the Teradactyl answer, like, item page opened up. Alright, enough babbling. Uh, let's do things. Now, yesterday we did find a legendary Mega Goblo, and, uh, reckon she asked for something like that. So there we go, we're gonna use... we're gonna get... something. We're gonna get a map tra the transformation on the hub, actually. Alright, alright. You gotta press the button. Oh, I guess you need to be on the carpet. Press the button. There you go. Me much surprised! That's right, the legendary Mega Golo. Sure thing. Always giving options that saying no just won't do anything. It's not that big. I guess it's pretty big. I have trouble with scale in this game. Anyways, let's go in! Look at those particle effects. What? It didn't do anything. What well, I'm gonna call this? Dragon. Yeah, honestly, isn't it? Ta-da! She's a big, she's not that big, nor heap. She's kind of the same size. The only real difference, sound is deeper. Normal attack is now a flamethrower. Part of me kind of wants to transform back to Kazooie because I I feel like I like Kazooie like design a little better, but Dragon is also cool and I love green and Dragon is green, and uh, you know we should use it. The flamethrower is pretty nice, and maybe maybe we can just kind of like switch back at some point. Look, I unlock this. We got this. The first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna taxi the big kid that's in the train yard. After that, we're gonna go on the roof of the tent, get on the springy shoes, and get into the the hub piece we couldn't ever do anything in. That's the plan. There was a warp pad right here, by the way. Stop being not healed, Banjo, it's weird. All right, kid. Where are you at? Get on board. You're up. There you go. Fitting nice and snugly. I'm getting stuck on doors. It's the best. All right. Here's kid number two. All oh, right. That's sleeping. But she's right there. Oh my god. Here you go. She's right there. Here you go. So where's the girl? I guess she's gonna run in when we're done? That's right. I did that. You're huge, by the way. Oh no, that's bad. Don't just, don't just hit him on the head. That's kind of upsetting, like, for real. Okay, well, watch him go. Wobbling at the speed of sound. Oh, they are just, they're just, that did not need to be that slow. So like, if I speak to you, can you confirm that I only have one kid left? Thanks for bringing the little scamp back. Still another one to find. Okay, got it. Uh -huh. Yeah. -huh. All right. So go here. Panic a little bit. By we turn the camera wrong. It's fine. It's gonna happen. So there, here was a Jinjo, and here are springy shoes. We wish to go. Uh. Over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can clearly see the path. Here you go. Just kind of... Wait, those are... Sp those are not springy. These are... Squishy. 
Oh, am I supposed to go up there with the high jump of, uh, of girl? Huh. Yeah, no, I thought that, yeah, no, I... In my head, those were, um... Those were spring shoes. I just ran into that. Like, is your, like, hit stand strong enough? It is. There's the last kid, by the way. There's a mumbo pad there. Oh, yeah, okay. So that's all the notes here. There's a shock pad to come back. That's nice. I feel like I'm not supposed to be doing this. Oh, there's a kid. Hey, this fair is so much fun. Oh. There's nothing you can do. Oh, I can't. How about violence? <laughs> I don't know. That's what your mom does. All right, this, the solution was violence. I. That's kind of gross. Okay, well that's the last of the little brats. We did it. We solved the solution and made a child cry. Are you gonna open up the gate? No, you're just gonna go straight through. A beautiful day we live in. So yeah, I need to find Mumbo at all. I haven't even seen Mumbo here. Uh, might as well get some eggs back. Do I have all my grenades? I could always use more grenades. Oh, well, um, I accidentally got too close there. So there's a truck door here. Okay, there's like nothing going on here. I mean, I can hear a fwee wee, but there's like nothing to do. Okay, um, all right. I guess we're going, wow, it's high. That is just unbelievable. Oh, I should uh, see uh, mom and get my uh, reward. There you go. Hey, reward me. I've got fire in my breath. All uh, you are just all over the place. Man, is it weird that we're just always constantly talking about hellfire peeing now? Even in levels that are like way in the past. Uh, Look at that, she addresses Kazooie directly. She knows. And hey, free Jiggy. That I got like in the middle of the cutscene. It's a little awkward, but I accept that. And once again, just lingering shot on the NPC leaving the map. It's very important. All right, what can we do when we transform? I'm not sure at this point, so we're going to find out. So I already gave you your uh, Globo. It was the one where the Globo was in the tent. That was pretty silly. Yeah, jump. Oh, oh, I already even did that. All right, so here we go. Transformation for the circus is, that's right, a truck. <laughs> it's a money truck. Man. Man carries much coin. Use control stick to coin. Press B for horn. That's right, I got horn. So once again, sadly, it's a transformation that's basically an ambulatory key. You gotta jump. And you can honk at doors to open them. It's pretty wild. Everything you could ever wish for in life is present here. Okay, so we are still in the western part. Uh, let's look for things to van at. Beep, beep. So there... Okay, so I remember the, there's a door... Whoa. There's actually a, a chest here that required money. Don't think I forgot. That's gonna open up that door there, like, almost definitely. Whoa, it's Grunty! She's actually in this game! Fearsome Furnace of the Inferno! Then you back up and say, Whoa, check it out, money out the trunk. That's how it goes. It's open for everyone. That's how this arc works. So the Inferno, pretty major place. Now the mouth opens up and down. Do you want to go there as Van? I forget. Let's see if he'll let me. Because there might be stuff to do here. Okay, all right. I managed to time myself inside the Maw of the Inferno. 
Check it out, it's lava. So we got a split path here. We got speed shoes there. Oh, we do have a van bone. A, van, a bone for Zans. It's over here. Eggs. I guess I'm. I've decided I'm in exploring in truck mode. Oh, I can open up the space. Oh, and because I can jump. Oh, that's Bumbo's hut, probably. All right, sweet. So now you don't need to go inside the entrance ever again. Uh, there's a Globo. Might as well get it. Honk, honk. Yeah, that's right. I'm holding two guys now, fighting two gizmos. That's right. I'm doing it. All right. So here, there's. That's a bun. Okay, it's a bun you can press, and uh, it creates a sweet, like, camera pan. Are you excited about that? It's like, oh, there's a thing here now. There's a thing, by the way. There's a time. Oh. You see, we're going to have to put Banjo on the Switch. It's like they, they kind of maybe reuse some ideas here and there sometimes. It happens. But you can only have so many ideas as a human. Oh, you can just run people over. I was hoping for that. Oh. Can, I, can you not get the thing, though? But you cannot get the thing, though. Honk! Have a page, and nothing else. Sweet! Gotta protect that page from the flames. Makes sense to me. That's the inferno. Well, we'll, we'll get back here. Well, I remember this, and there's a 20-note thing there. I got it! Nothing else. Sweet! And that is all the notes of Witchy World. Why is it so fun to run over people in video games? Like, it's such a mean thing to do. And, you know, a little criminal. Like, does this open up for me? How did you open this up? Because I'm gonna have to go in there as a truck. There's a thing at the, at the like at the end, but I don't know how to get there. All right, I think I did everything I could as Money Van. Uh, the next step of the level would be to turn into Mumbo and like um go on all his many, many, many pads all over the place. But I'm still bothered by the fenced-in area. Like... I get... Like, how would I get... Like, there's a pad for Mumbo inside a fenced-in area. But I don't think I have the means to get him there. Maybe I'm just overthinking it, and it's like just doing one of the activities that does that. All right, you know what? I think I'm gonna leave that for tomorrow. To today might have been a shorter one because there's gonna be a little bit of editing to do, like, all over the place. But, uh, yeah, no, yeah, like, next time, yeah, next time, mumbo things. So rude. Like, Kazooie, even as a dragon, still has a sharp beak. A sharp beak. Yeah, there are two, still two pages to find, and two gingers to find two somewhere. I don't remember where, but we're gonna have access to more places as we go. So yeah, next time, Mumbo and Michi World, and we'll see where that leads us.